How did you keep it simple? Like, how did you not let it get away from you? Well, the one of the things that we we spent a lot of time in pre-production, and we knew that due to the tight schedule. I mean, shooting in Baltimore, it's a uh, it it comes with its own issues and problems. Uh, more often. How many day, How many days did you guys? Shoot? A total of 40. Um, 40 we had, right. Yeah, we had 37 of Priscilla Photography, and then we had additional three uh, for insurance pickups and, and scenes that we, we couldn't do. Given, you know, because, you know, Baltimore, as special as it is, as charming as it is, it's also a complicated place to shoot infrastructurally. If you want to shoot outside, there's, you know, we had a gas leak in the middle of the road. Like, those are stuff that we couldn't control, so we had to do additional photography. But um, the the good thing I feel was that it forced us, for example, I wasn't aware. This was my first time realizing that when you're working with kids, you're not working with kids 12 hours. Right. And <laughs> it's, yeah, like for, oh, like for me, that was a rookie, 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 very rookie uh, way of thinking. In Puerto Rico, as in Puerto Rico, we were shooting yeah. for passion and it is a job for families and, you know, we went the mile and when the kid was like, I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm like, okay, then we're done. <laughs> but here, uh, we re I realized for the first time that I had nine hours to shoot with them. Yeah. But it wasn't nine hours. It was five because right. three were for school and one for lunch. So realizing that we only have five hours to shoot with kids who were almost virtually in every frame of the movie, um, that brought up a challenge that forced us to be economic in the way we we're going to shoot. Now, coming from La Granja and from Puerto Rico, not having a lot of resources, you have to get creative. And for me, what is global lighting and wonders is kind of like a resource I usually go to, not because it's a cool thing to do, but it's because if I start changing camera angles and changing right. lights, I would, would have never been able to do anything. Um, so knowing those things and shooting as much as we could natural, even if we have to create natural looks, um, allowed us to be very economical and uh, pre uh, take advantage of, of the blocking and the staging in order to create uh, dynamic scenes that wouldn't rely on over the shoulder, over the shoulder, over the shoulder. Yeah, I mean, dude, I can't imagine, dude. Because we've all experienced it on commercial spots, you know, like where there's a care commercial where it's, okay, I'm only going to have, I mean, I, I remember shooting with a, new, a newborn baby the, for the first time earlier this year, and I was like, oh, I have 20 minutes. Like, they're only going to give me 20 minutes with this baby on camera. And I was like, is this, is this does everybody do this? It's just California? How does this work? But it's, it's wild, man. I, I forgot. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. That's yeah, in La, Gran in La Granja, I had a, a wonder of a woman giving birth. So mm -hmm. everything looks like she's pushing, pushing, the camera leaves. And when it comes back, there's a switch to a newborn baby, all right. like jelly it up. And, yeah. um, and we only had three takes. We only could do three takes. And, um, and that was without, I'm sure my AD was like, you only, like, it's 20 minutes that we can have this baby. Yeah. We shot it like we could have him all day, but we really only had 20 minutes to do right. three takes. So, because they were going to kick us out of prenatal uh, of the hospital. So it's like, I, it is, it is scary, but, and it is hard. Definitely it is complicated. Those are, there are factors that you don't take into consideration or that I wouldn't take into consideration, but I was, I wouldn't, I can't say this enough. I was blessed by having such talented kids and professional kids that they were the least of my problems into getting stuff on point, to getting everything on time. Like they were on point every single day. And because we knew exactly how we were going to shoot it, we could rehearse while rehearsing staging and blocking. And then we can, we didn't have to shoot more than five takes. And we could just move on, move on, move on, because we already knew what we were going to do. And we already knew that we were against the clock.